have what is called the home card, where all your deck of cards are shown. Now, I don't know enough for you to know what I'm doing, so if I just can be silly, just let me know. But this, I have certain care cards. I have a card to make appointments with the doctor. I have a card to make prescription, manage my prescriptions, and I can see my history. The most important thing you can do in diabetes is know your history. Are you going up the wrong way or are you going down the right way? That's the most important thing. None of us see this data if it's all buried inside some electronic medical record, inside some hospital, that you will never see. It's not actionable information. You don't know what to do. This wallet, sorry, is designed to give you that information. So let me show you. So from an appointments perspective, you have the ability to search for or be automatically linked to physicians you have seen in the past. So if you have made an appointment in the past with a physician, you can go see it and you would have the ability to see the physician's name, address, and you have the ability to call and confirm an appointment. But the idea here is that you have a quick place to keep track of all your appointments. But what you're really trying to do is you want to make a new appointment. I'm doing fine, but I need to actually go in and check. So I can see all my recent visits. So I normally see two, three doctors, right? How many doctors do you see in a given year? How many different doctors do you see? Five, seven, nobody sees 100 doctors in a year, right? You see three, five, seven doctors in a year. Same doctor again and again. Your general practitioner, your endocrinologist, your ophthalmologist, that's it. Maybe if I, you know, if you have a child with a pediatrician, then you have five doctors in your orbit. That's your care circle. So you will have those doctors already here. You don't need to go hunting for them. But you know who those recent visits are. So I know Susan is my doctor, so I choose her. The next thing I'm asked is how quickly do you need to go see her? So I can choose today, or ASAP, or I can choose next week. I'm not in a hurry, but I also don't want to wait a month. And I, I have a preference over time. I want to see between three and five, and I have some flexibility, right? Oh, by the way, why do you want to go? I'm feeling sick, but I just want to get a checkup. I don't have a serious issue, I'm not sick, but I want a checkup. So you can choose what's called sick visit or well visit. So let's say I'm not feeling well. I make that appointment real time, this event went on the chain, hits Susan's wallet, and she can accept or reject it instantly, or she can have a, her car, wallet configured to automatically accept if she has time in my calendar. Nothing more needs to be done. Right? Now, why is this powerful? This is powerful because we can link it to reminders. And reminders can come from your parents or your children or your spouse saying, hey, your A1C hasn't been checked, it's due. It was due three days ago. Get on with it. And that triggers the appropriate action on my part. Now, one of the things that doctors want to know about you at all times is, are you taking anything? Are you taking any medication that I should know about? Because they're always going to ask the question, do you have, what is your kind of medication intake? What are you taking? Because nobody can ever be sure that the drugs that you're taking are documented in their system. Nobody knows that. They have to re-verify. Really you may be taking something that is not prescribed, or you may be taking something, not taking something that is prescribed. Happens all the time. So we have a report your medication card, which allows you to come in, oops, excuse me, that allows you to come in and report what medications are you taking, so you can link it to your appointment card. So before you go see the doctor, you can fill in, look, I'm taking right now metformin. So, and we haven't translated the drug names into Korean. That's something that we will need to work with a specialist. But I'll search for the drug in English. And I say, well, I'm taking metformin hydrochloride. That's the drug I'm taking. It will build that record for me. And I can say, well, you know what? I just forgot. I don't take this acetaminophen anymore. So I can delete that. And this is my latest medication chart. Simple, right? No. As you add these drugs or delete these drugs, the doctor's record is getting updated in real time. Now they know that before you walk in into the appointment, what is your actual prescription drug usage? Which they can immediately spot gaps in your care. If I'm a diabetic and I don't take metformin anymore, the moment I walk in, they don't have to do a test to know that I am already dealing with uncontrolled diabetic. He's not an insulin, he doesn't take metformin, he's a known diabetic, we got a serious heart attack risk. So they can act immediately. They can even act to say, come in faster. We can't wait another week. What you're doing is bad stuff. Come on in. So it helps a doctor manage 
your appointment with them. It helps you manage your care with them. And it allows you to not have to sit there and fill out a bunch of forms on, that they have to fill out in their EMR and then 30 minutes later they figure out what you should have already told. We're trying to make the process efficient. But it's another thing. If you are on a prescription drug and you don't take it, my best friend Jason, if he's in my care circle, would know about it. And he would be pinging me saying, what's happening? Why aren't you taking your prescription medication? You know this is really bad for you. So people who care about us can be involved. Right? But nobody knows unless you give them permission. None of this happens unless you give permission for the doctor's wallet to see your wallet. This is not some centralized database where you are loading data and everybody can read it. You have to permit the other wallet to see your wallet. Okay? Everything is in your control. Everything. There is no insurance company, no hospital, no doctor, no government agency that can read this card unless you send it to them. So we are not a centralized electronic medical record blockchain. We are a care coordination, care management blockchain. And data only moves when you make it move, when you share a card. Okay? So obviously the most important thing is for me to know how am I doing? You know, is this, am I actually a patient who is getting the care, is taking care of himself? And this should go on a very slow Wi-Fi. It's loading my medical history and should tell me what my trend lines are. Let's give it a second. But the point here is that it's showing me how is my key indicators jumping up and down. So these spikes are bad news. What's happening? Why is this happening? Well, I was traveling, was in five countries in three days, it was stressful, didn't do a good job. Well, that cannot happen again and again. You know how that, this is a way for the patient to understand how they are performing on key indicators, right? So when the doctor sees this chart, when you show her to when you're in the office, they won't need to ask you, how have you been feeling for the last 30 days? Oh, I'm fine, doc. No, you're not. This chart tells me you. Sure, that's not fine. So this is inspiration for this is a little story. Um, I have a 12-year-old daughter. She thinks she's 21, but she's 12. And um, she is very, Protectable. So we went to the doctor for my annual exam, and I was sitting across from the doc, she was sitting next to me, and the doctor said, How are you doing, Pretty? And I said, I'm doing fine. She was, Ah, uh, no, he's not doing fine. I'm like, No, I'm doing fine, really. She's like, No, every time he comes home from this trip around, crazy trip around the world, he's got allergies, he's tired, he doesn't sleep, you know, he's waking up at 2 in the morning, he's sneezing all the time, he's not really. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Actually, when you think about it, I do feel pretty tired. It takes me two, three days to recover. She's like, oh, and one more thing. You know, every time in March and April, his allergies go crazy and he's just sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. And for a couple of months, he's horrible. He just complains all the time, eyes are running. He just, I don't like him when he's that upset and sick all the time. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I was sick in March, I wasn't tired. So you see, the problem is we think that we are better than we are. And then the doctor asks me, oh yeah, I'm fine, everything is great, just a little problem, headache. But that's not why that you are sick. You're sick because you've been bouncing around like a yo-yo, like a pendulum. And you, nobody, you don't remember? Do you remember how you felt seven days ago at this hour? Remember, we have a life to do. We don't remember this stuff, but doctors care about this stuff. They need your care journey. So they guess. If pretty says the man being fine, they think, oh, he's probably okay. Or they, do a test, and they figure out something is not okay. But this journey is extremely important. This tells you the true picture. Yeah, he's doing fine most of the time, but then he goes, with a once he goes crazy, so something is not quite right, so we can do something about it. So we want to be managing ourselves to help the doctor help us. You can't just expect the doctor to do everything. But your family, your friends, your children, your parents, they are there to get you to do this care circle, to join the network and fill in the information. But here's the important point. This is your data. You, nobody gets to see it unless you send it. There is no centralized big data repository. There is no AI engine running in the cloud managing your data. No, it's your data in your node, on your chain, and only if you choose to analyze it, will the endpoint read it and analyze it. And only if you choose to share it, it goes to somebody else. And if you don't want to share it, you don't share it. If you want to share it with friends, with family, you share it. 
If you're going to show it to your doctor, do it. If you don't want to show it to the doctor, fine. They know that you've got a problem. And this is how you avoid huge amount of cost and pain. Right? Now, tell me if this won't work in Korea just because we have a great healthcare system here. Of course it won't. It makes you more effective. It makes your doctor more effective. Nobody said to you, don't go see the doctor. We just said, understand what you're showing them. What you're tracking, what you're managing, what you're sharing. So this is an example of a very fundamental, simple, but very intelligent care network that doesn't require anything more than you letting the wallet know what you're doing. 